Just a few weeks ago was the second anniversary of the invasion of Iraq. There were tens of thousands of people who marched all over this country. In Fayetteville, North Carolina, thousands, many who lost loved ones in Iraq, they were outside Fort Bragg, many who were refusing to go to Iraq. These are first-hand stories. This is what is the meat of journalism. You go to the people who are involved themselves, not that small circle of pundits who know so little about so much, who are explaining the world to us, but the people themselves. Where were the coverage? I watched, and it's painful to do this, on that day of protest, all the networks, and I had to watch all through the day and into the night, the nightly newscasts, ABC, NBC, CBS. Not one of those nightly newscasts interviewed a protester. On CNN throughout the day, looking for the coverage of protest. I did see some protest late in the afternoon. They said 4,000 Japanese marched against war in Japan. Now, I was very glad to hear that. But what about in CNN's backyard in Atlanta and all over this country? We were not watching CNN International. There was a marginalization of people who deeply believe in peace in this country. And I would say that those people are not the fringe minority, are not the silent majority, but the silenced majority, silenced by the corporate media. And that has got to change.